Hello everyone. Today we are dealing with the current affairs of 27 July 2020. First question. PM Narendra Modi inaugurated three new high-end ICMR COVID testing labs in India. Which among the following is not one of the host cities of the new labs? Option A. Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated three new high-throughput ICMR COVID testing labs in Noida, Mumbai and Kolkata on July 27, 2020. During his virtual address, the Prime Minister highlighted that the labs will not remain restricted to testing COVID samples. Second question. How many Rafale fighter jets are being flown into India from France? Option B. 5. Five Rafale fighter jets took off from France today on July 27, 2020 to join the Indian Air Force fleet in Ambala on July 29th. They were flagged off by the Indian ambassador to France from an airbase in Merignac in France. Third question. On which day India celebrates Kargil Vijay Divas every year to remember the extreme valor sacrifice and exemplary courage of Indian soldiers during the 1999 Kargil War. Option D, 26th July. India celebrates Kargil Vijay Divas on 26th July every year. On this day, the country remembers the extreme valor, sacrifice and the exemplary courage of Indian soldiers during the 1999 Kargil War. Fourth question. Name the person who has been appointed by the President of India as the Governor of Madhya Pradesh. Option A. Anandiban Patel. President of India Ramnath Kovind has appointed the Governor of Uttar Pradesh Anandiban Patel to discharge the functions of the Governor of Madhya Pradesh. Fifth question. With which country has the Reserve Bank of India signed documents for extending a US dollar 400 million currency swap facility? Option A. Sri Lanka. The Reserve Bank of India has signed necessary documents for extending a US dollar 400 million currency swap facility to Sri Lanka to boost the island nation's draining foreign exchange reserves due to the coronavirus pandemic. Sixth question. According to the RBI's financial stability report released in July 2020, banks' gross NPA may rise to how much percent by the March 2021? Option B, 12.5%. Gross non-performing assets of all banks may jump to 12.5% by the end of this fiscal under the baseline scenario from 8.5% in March 2020, according to the Financial Stability Report released by the Reserve Bank. Seventh question. Achyuta Rao, who passed away recently, was an activist. Prominent child rights activist and founder of Balala Hakula Sangam, a child rights organization, Achyuda Rao succumbed to COVID-19 at a private hospital in the city in Hyderabad. He was 58. Eighth question. Which port has signed up for the science-based target initiative, becoming the first Indian port to commit to set science-based emissions reduction targets? Option C. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited has signed up for the Science-Based Target Initiative, becoming the first Indian port to commit to set science-based emission reduction targets across their entire value chain that are consistent with keeping global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Ninth question. Which countries successfully hold flight test of 3D printed aircraft engine? Option D, Russia. 
Russia has for the first time conducted a successful flight test of MGTD-20, a 3D printed aircraft engine and its production is scheduled for 2021-22. Tenth question, who has been appointed as an honorary advisor for the BRICS Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Young Leaders for the period 2020-23? Option B, Sahil Seth. Sahil Seth, Deputy Commissioner of Mumbai Customs, has been appointed as an honorary advisor to the Steering Committee for the BRICS Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Young Leaders for the period 2020-23. 11th question, Rajesh Bhushan, who has been appointed as the new secretary, under which ministry? Option C, Union Health Ministry. Rajesh Bhushan, IAS officer of the 1987 batch, Bihar Kader, has been appointed as the new health secretary in the Union Health Ministry. 12th question. Noted Urdu dash Nasrat Sahir passed away recently. Option A. Journalist. Renowned Urdu writer and translator Nasrat Sahir passed away in Saharanpur in Uttar Pradesh at the age of 69. 13th question. Which state has approved Digital Economy Mission to promote startups, e-commerce and other gig economy companies? Option B. Karnataka. On July 23, 2020, the Karnataka cabinet cleared the formation of Karnataka Digital Economy Mission. The mission is being launched under the provision of Section 8 of the Companies Act 2013. 14th question. Which ministry has launched a mobile app called Mosam? Option B, Earth Science Ministry. The Ministry of Earth Science launched the mobile app Mosam on July 27, 2020 for the India Meteorological Department on its Foundation Day celebration. The users will be able to access weather forecasts, radar images, and be warned of the impending weather events. 15th question. India banned how many more Chinese apps on July 24, 2020? Option A, 47. The Indian government banned 47 more Chinese apps on July 24, 2020, in addition to the earlier banned 59 apps. As per media reports, the 47 apps were acting as clones of the earlier banned 59 Chinese apps. 16th question. India supported the construction of a 300-year-old Kali temple in which nation? Option D. Bangladesh. A 300-year-old Kali temple has been reconstructed at Natur in Bangladesh with the support of India. The Memorandum of Understanding for the Reconstruction of the Temple was signed in 2016. The Sri Sri Joykali Mata Temple is among the oldest temples in Bangladesh. It was built approximately 300 years back in the early 18th century. Thank you.